So you're thinking of becoming a class one driver or a truck driver here in North America. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to do that. What are the pros, what are the cons, what you should stay away from and what you should look out for. So when I am gonna be talking about different truck driving schools or if I'm gonna make a comment or a recommendation, I'll link them down below in this video. So how do we become a truck driver here in Canada and in the US? Let's start off with breaking down the four or five different types of truck drivers that I see. So the first type of truck driver that I see is people that want stability in their life. So they want finances. So they have a friend that's a truck driver or they know somebody that's a truck driver and they see that they are financially stable. So yes, it is right to assume that truck drivers are extremely financially stable. So if that's the reason why you're going into it, then you know you might just be successful at it. The second type of truck drivers that I see or people getting into this industry is people that have failed at something else. So they've tried something else, but it just didn't pan out for them. So they weren't successful at what they did or the industry that they chose just didn't give them the financial stability that they wanted. So now they're looking at maybe they should become a truck driver. Now the third type of drivers that I see is drivers that want a better life for themselves. So they have found a loophole or they have found a way to get into North America through a license program. So both Canada and the US have these programs available that if you are a foreigner and they become truck drivers because they want to come both to Canada and the US. Driver number four are the drivers that love the job. That's all they wanted to do. They are diehard uh, manual shifters. They love the industry. All they want to do is drive. They don't see themselves doing anything else. They are born and they're naturally great at it. Okay, so those are your four different types of truck drivers that I see. So I think that, you know, after giving it some thought, you are you know, mentally getting yourself prepared for it by doing all this research. And that's why you're watching this video. And you are probably wondering what truck drivers make. We are probably researching on how much does it cost to become a truck driver. And you're probably researching how in the world do I get a job as a truck driver once you get your class one license. Another thing that you need to consider when you're mentally preparing yourself is how are you gonna fund this? So it's gonna take some time. It's not something that you can become a truck driver overnight. Now, I recommend that you do it more on the part-time basis where you're still keeping your full-time position and you are trying to get your license either in the evenings or weekends. Now, why do I recommend this? Is because it's very hard to financially support yourself and also take all these new expenses on yourself of becoming a truck driver with the fees that come with it. So stick to your job, do not quit your job just yet. Make sure you're enrolled in the school, make sure they have a part-time ability, make sure you can do it in the evenings and weekends. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you it is quite rewarding once you get it. The second thing is the type of personality you are will determine where in trucking you're going to be. Now you need to think about this now. The reason I say this is because if you are fairly young and you have little kids, you probably don't want to be far away from home, which means you'll probably go into the route of regional. And if you don't have a family and you know you want to really make the big bucks, then you'll probably want to go into the long haul trucking. But it also depends on your personality on whether or not you see yourself being on the road for uh, longer durations at a time when you're sleeping in the truck and really being away from home, I would say between six to 10 days at a time. There are some drivers that are out for two, three weeks at a time. So it's based on your personality that's gonna gear you towards the job that you are going to get, either regional or long haul. And the third thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna research the company that you're going to want to go and work for. Make sure you check out their Google reviews. You wanna to talk to other drivers within the company. I've done a whole video on this and I'll probably link it down below on how to get your first job once you get your class one license because as you probably know or maybe if you don't know when you do get your license most of the places that you're going to be applying for they're going to want two years experience well if you don't have two years experience and all the companies are requesting for two years experience how in the world do you get a job so make sure you watch that video on how to get a job as a newly licensed driver so definitely doing the research on the company and definitely watching their google reviews and see what other drivers have to say about that company so now we're going to get into how do you get your class one license so four headings that we're going to be be talking about on how to get your license. Number one, applying for the license. Number two, completing the written test. Number three, training and practice. And number four, passing your road test. We'll talk about the US first because the majority of our subscribers are American and then we'll follow up with each heading on the difference between US and then we'll take Canada into the equation. So let's talk about our first heading, applying for the license. So let's talk a little bit about getting your license in the US. So in most states, you have to be 21 years of age in order to get your class one. 
Now there is a special restricted license in some states, only in some states, not all states, which will allow you to drive from the age of 18, but it is only going to be regional. So you will be limited to that state. You won't be able to go to other states and drive. So applicants will need to pass a DOT medical examination before you can proceed. Now also the DMV is going to check your driving record for the past 10 years and make sure that you are okay. And now once all that checks out, in order to get your commercials learner's permit, you will need to pass a 50 question multiple choice uh, exam which will give you your learner's permit. Once you pass that exam, you can take your test, your driving test, 14 days after, but I recommend that you do more courses and take your time before going into the exam unless you really feel confident and you have past experience as a driver, then go ahead and do it after 14 days, but I recommend that you do your classes first. And now keep in mind that there are three parts to the practical skills test. The vehicle inspection, the second thing you're gonna be tested on is basic controls, and the last thing that you're gonna be tested on is the on-road test. So that's what you need in the US, and now let's start off with Canada. So in Canada, the procedures and requirements are different depending on the province that you're in. Now in Ontario, Quebec, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland, the age is 18. British Columbia and Prince Edward Island, you have to be at least 19 years for a full driver's license. You'll require a driver's medical examination, a knowledge test, and a criminal record check. A commercial's driver's license needs to have a standard driver's license with a clean driving record. So first you need to take a knowledge test, and that knowledge test is going to be multiple choice. Once you pass that test, then you're gonna to need to do an air brakes course, which is usually in class, probably about a weekend or two to three days. And once you pass that, then you can start doing your in-truck classes. So these are actually one-on-one -on -one classes with an instructor on how to drive a truck. So once you do your classes in the truck, when you feel ready, then you will go out and do a ministry road test. And when you pass that, you get your class one license or your AZ license. So guys, before you go and do all your tests, you need to get some training done. So guys, with a quick search, Google search, you can search for a truck driver training school. And in these schools, they're gonna be teaching you a lot of things, but to sum it all up, this is what they're gonna be training you on. Behind the wheel truck driver training, commercials driver's license training, they're preparing you for the AZ class license exam, and they will also train you on the transportation of dangerous goods. All right, so the million dollar question is, how much does it cost to get your class one or your AZ license? Uh, well, in a nutshell, it should cost you around eight to $10,000 is what I see here in the GTA. Uh, in the US, I don't think that it's gonna be that far off. I think the prices will probably be the same. What I do know that in the US, it's a lot more common where mega carriers will sponsor you to get your class one license. And then what they do is they make you sign that you have to work for them for the next three years. So if you work for them for three years or a two year contract, then the schooling is basically on them. But, uh, but if you decide to leave, then you're gonna have to pay for that $10,000 or whatever the fee is in the US. But here in Canada, I know it costs about eight to $10,000 from a reputable school. How long is it gonna take you to complete this course? I don't know, I guess it's individually based, whether you have experience with a truck or you don't have experience with a truck. What I do know is that if you don't have experience driving trucks, stick to the automatic trucks and not the manual. If a school is trying to teach you on manual truck, stay away from those schools because all the mega carriers out there, even the medium sized carriers out there, we all have automatic trucks. There's no need for you to be stressing out on how to uh, change gears. I mean, if somebody put me right now in a truck or even in a car and they taught me how to drive manual, I don't think I would be any good at it, especially with all the added stress and anxiety of me trying to learn how to drive a huge tr truck with, with a 53 foot trailer. I really don't need that added stress. So may, when you are on the phones with these driving schools, ask them if they have automatic trucks. And if they don't have automatic trucks, just move on to the next school because um, there's so many schools to choose from. Make sure you're looking at the reviews, make sure you're looking, uh, you're researching. Approximately across the GTA, the fees will all be the same, but what do they include? Will they include everything? Meaning that you know, you're gonna have X amount of 
uh, one-on-one -on -one sessions. Now you want to get as many one-on-one -on -one sessions as you can with a driver trainer. The in-school is pretty much all the same. They all teach you the same stuff. What differentiates the, the, the schools is, number one is the reputation, how long they've been on the road for, how they prep you for the exam, and how many hours is included inside their package. Now don't be afraid to call around and, and ask for one school that will include, um, I don't know, 20 sessions, and then you have another school that include 22 sessions. And if you like the price, then tell them, listen, you know, I found another school and they're including 22 sessions in my package and where another school would only include 10 one-hour sessions. So make sure that you, uh, you call a few of them and ask them what's a part of their package. So now that you know how to get your class one license or your truck driver license, both in Canada and the US, it is extremely important for you to know how to find your first class one job or how to find your first job as a truck driver, and also how much money can truck drivers make. So therefore, I'm gonna be recommending these two videos that I've created in the past. The first video is how to find your first job as a class one driver, and the second video is how much money can I make as a truck driver, Whether and it's comparing over the road drivers versus regional drivers. So make sure you watch those two videos before you proceed in getting your class one license. There's no point of getting your class one license if you think that drivers are not making enough money or or it might not just not be for you once you find out how many days they are on the road for at a time uh, if you're thinking of going long haul. 